Hello everyone, I'm Nicola. I like to clean, I like to organise, I like to watch videos of other people cleaning and organising. So I thought eventually why not try it myself. This is my kitchen and living room, messy from the night before and a bit of the morning as well, just before we got on the school run is when I filmed this. It's awful. <laughs> And I cannot clean in my clothes, so I have to wear my pyjamas. There we go. So I start from the living room. I just pick up all of the toys. These are all our little girl Jamie's toys. She's the baby. I have three children. Um, all the boys' toys usually stay in their bedroom. Um, yeah, so I get rid of those, put them all away. So many balls from the wall pit that we put away. <laughs> They get everywhere. They really do. So I like to make sure all the stacking cups are put inside each other. It makes them so much easier to store away in the toy box because they do take up a lot of space if they are just chucked in individually. So I decided to um, take all the sofa cushions off and hoover underneath them and freshen all the sofas up a little bit. Originally this was supposed to be just a morning reset video but it was a lot messier than I had originally planned as I was at work the night before to about 10. I didn't really come in and have a look at the kitchen the living room and see the state it was in. I just went straight to bed. So I'm just hoovering out all the crumbs, which wasn't as bad as it usually is, which is great. I picked up some fabric spray from Poundland just to freshen up the sofas and the cushions a little bit. It also helps freshen up the room too. Once it's all tidy, it's nice when it smells fresh as well. I hate plumping up the cushions. My arms always ache afterwards. So I'm just hoovering all the cushions off in case there's an odd crumb here or there. Then I'm giving them a spritz as well before putting them back on and making the sofa nice and tidy again, even though it won't last long, never does. But at least for five minutes, it looks good. <laughs> Onto the sofa bed now. The crumbs on this one are a little bit worse. But I'll just flip them onto the floor. <laughs> the mess underneath isn't as bad as usual, so that's great. So I'll give it all a, a quick hoover down. Yep. And then once I'm done with this, I'll again hoover the cushions. Spray them and then I'll hoover the floor um, in front of it where I just chucked all the crumbs from inside the sofa as well. So, how often do you hoover the crumbs and whatever other rubbish is lurking under your sofa cushions? I do try and do it every time I get the hoover out but most of the time I'm just trying to rush around the floor and get the crumbs off the floor and I do forget. Um, maybe once a week 
or two weeks at the minute, which is why I'm trying to hopefully get myself into a better cleaning routine for daily, weekly and monthly. Does anyone else have a, a routine that they follow? If you do, I would love to hear about it. Might give me some ideas myself. And as I start filming more of these videos and making more of a routine for myself, hopefully, I will, you know, if I get any ideas or hints and tips and tricks, share them, I suppose, if you're interested. <laughs> Just hoovering the carpet now, which I know looks awful. There's stains everywhere. It looks really grubby at the minute. We've had this carpet since we moved into our flat about 10 years ago, and it's, it still does the job, you know? And once we get a rug doctor on it, every time it comes up looking brand new again. So hopefully soon we will hire that and get it cleaned up. Um, although we are considering getting our own carpet cleaner. Um, just don't know where to store it at the minute. And there's my sofas all clean and tidy. Living room, all in order now, fantastic. Yay. Dust there, <laughs> got that shelf. All done. Now to tackle the kitchen, which is a mess. Yes, this is mostly mess from the night before. Um, and some of it is obviously from the morning as well, just before the kids went off to school. I was at work last night, so I didn't get a chance to really give the kitchen a good tidy up like I, like I do try to do most nights, I won't lie. Most, some nights I do forget and think, oh, I just want to go to bed. But that's another routine I really want to get myself into on, you know, an every night basis, is get the kitchen tidied up or clean for going to bed. So that when I wake up in the morning, it is in order, it is tidy. And I don't want to just close my eyes again as soon as I walk into the room. So what I do is I clean off all the rubbish first, put all the rubbish in the bin. Any food rubbish I then also put into the recycling box that I've got set up on the side there, which I keep in the cupboard under the sink usually. Loads of rubbish today, absolutely loads. Yeah. I just banged my leg on the chair that's just in the bottom right corner there. That hurt. So I've cleaned down and emptied one side of the kitchen countertops. So, food recycling bin emptied, that was full up. I then rinse off all the plates, cups and bowls first any crumbs, sauces and stuff, get that gone first. Every time I empty the food bin, I give it a bit of bleach and hot water to soak it and give it a good wash. All the cutlery I put inside a jug or a pot, whatever I'm washing up at the time, and let that soak while I'm doing the rest of the dishes. I have, I have an order that I do it in. I don't know if anyone else does it in a particular order. Some people just wash whatever goes in their hand first and that's it. But I do try and keep it in an order. So I'll do all the bowls and plates first. Well, first of all I do the bottles and dummies. And then the plates and bowls follow. And then cups and glasses. And then cutlery last. Um, yeah. So any gunk that's been stuck on the cutlery is all soaked and softened and comes off into that jug which doesn't get mixed in with the regular washing up water.
Then I wipe down the area next to the sink, give it a good clean. And like I say, this was just supposed to be a morning reset, um, but as it was in such a state, it ended up being you know, a bit of a deeper clean. Not a full on deep clean. Pick some of this up, never really used any of this stuff before, but I thought I'd give it a go, see if it makes it a bit shinier. I think it did. Uh, that was also from Poundland. As was this. And it does smell really nice. Um, so I'm glad I picked that one up. So our baby Jamie, she loves looking at her reflection in the oven door. It's always covered in her fingerprints and smudges. Once I clean this off, she can see her reflection a lot clearly again and she loves it. She thinks there's another baby there, I swear. And she just chats away and waves and says hello. New candles for my candle holder. And that's that. The kitchen and living room are tidied up. So on to the last job. Put some washing away from the bathroom and give it a wipe around and freshen it up. Now the handle on my tap broke off a while ago, hopefully it's getting replaced soon. I've been waiting a little while but hopefully I don't need to wait much longer. So yes, I know it looks silly but I'm just going to wipe everything around with an antibacterial wipe just like I say to freshen things up. So I'm coming to the end of my first video now and if you've made it this far, thank you for watching it all. I hope you've enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed making it, editing it and not so much doing this voiceover, I'm quite nervous, um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it all and I can't wait to make some more videos and share some more with you. And if you did enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and the link to my Instagram account is in the about my channel section as well, so check that out. Until next time, thank you.